would lie to you doesn't matter what I do she's got a hold on me she knows how to drive a truck but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing my heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her she's well hello and me. welcome I'm Elizabeth if you're new here so happy you clicked on we are gonna go rummage sailing in this video there's a big festival in our town every year and there's tons and tons of garage sales happening so we have a few to check out together i'm going to show you what i'm finding i'm looking for vintage home decor and on this particular trip i found a lot of books i'll spare you some of them because a lot of them were for my kids but nevertheless, we're going to have a good time looking around at everything and just seeing what treasures we can find. Oh, cute little scale. thought these were pretty, but they got chips broken all over the place. Chips? Yeah, they're all chipped up. Another little tin. Wilhelmina peppermints. That's not actually very old. Someday it'll just be me and you going garage sailing. <laughs> Fortunately, they stuck stuff in that. All right, let's go to the other side. So Christmas. That's so pretty. What is? I have these little guys, actually. Definitely 70s. Is on this stuff. Where are these? Aprons? Tool bag? That's so cute. I'm still not exactly sure what these were. I'm guessing they were some type of apron and they were really cute. The, the fabric that they used, I didn't even bother to ask a price on them. I kind of just kept moving on as you do mm. when you've got a little one with you, but I kind of wish I would have grabbed a few now watching mm. this back. gingerbread house oh, I like it. Christmas oh it's a church 
That's cute. Do you think we would use that for Christmas? That'd actually be cool to like hang over a table like a pendant. Modeled like on purpose <laughs> to make it look funnier. Nice. Look at the cow. Look at that cow. There you go. Perfect for you. <laughs> and you can just I love a little. You can just rub and buff these damage. spots. Get some rub and buff, and you literally oh, yeah. will not be able to tell that they're like I that. Know. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's how pretty, much is it? I know. How much is it? Oh, right here. Is that the price on the side? Oh yeah, forty bucks. Forty. It's expensive. It's Unless okay. that's not like their actual tag. There's no way. Beat up it is. I guess you can ask her. That's her right there. Five. It's probably more your colors, huh? The more warm colors. I wonder if mom would want any of these. Are you still collecting your pink? Vintage. But yeah, I still have Oh, that's pretty. I put a plant in it or something. It's really pretty. Oh, 
It looks kind of... It feels older. It feels more like light. I don't know. These are kind of nice like to cook with. These are pretty. These are really pretty. What does it say? Fire King. Those are really cool. I think you can you put these oh yeah you can put these in the oven really yeah <laughs> old sled that table's kind of cute collect these. Get this from like the 90s, these cookie jars. Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me start with these little dishes, these Homer Laughlin dishes. 25 cents a piece. How could I leave those behind? They're not perfect. There's a little chip in one of them. but I think I can live with that. I just love using these little dishes for fruit for my kids or for their sides. And then look at this beautiful yellow and blue spode plate made in England my two favorite colors to combine blue and yellow and I'm actually going to show you where I end up putting this in my house and how I style it so stay tuned for that and that plate was a dollar and then I really liked this brass I think it's like a napkin holder that's how I'm using it very heavy solid brass of course, my eye is always drawn to anything gold, so I spotted that right away. And then I really liked this fabric. I'm always looking for fabric still, so I picked this up. I think she charged me $3 for it, and there's a ton of it. Great deal on that. Mm -hmm. 